Hello all, welcome to Aura Trainings. In this session, we'll discuss about an employee page creation which performs GML page and Oracle Apex. Okay, so let's understand what are the steps involved in designing this particular sample. So the requirement what we want to achieve is design an Apex page where we want to perform DML operations on a particular page, right? Nothing but CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. So the first thing what we want to do is we just need to understand which table we want to consider, right? So have a table. So in my case, I'm just considering a table called XX EMP. So the steps involved for creating a table is like we have to go to SQL workshop, click on SQL commands, then mention your table script and click on run. If you're already having an existing table, you can ignore the first step. Next step is creation of an application. So the major thing is when you want to create a page or a report in Apex, the first major thing you require is for a user interface to have, you have to create an application. In the application, we have to create a page. So first thing is you have to click in, like uh, you have to create an application. So we have to go with the navigation app builder, select app builder, then create, mention the application name and click on create. So this second step will perform the creation of application. And then final step is creation of a page. So the same thing again, so if you're already in the application, you can just simply click on create page or let's say if you want to start it from scratch again, let's say like uh, you just now, maybe you would have forgotten that, you know, like instead of creating a page, you got to the main screen again. What you can do is go back to your app builder, select the application which you got created, then click on create page. So in the create page, it shows the different types of pages, page types which are available in Apex, select the appropriate form, appropriate type. In our case, we are selecting create page and select the form type as form. In that again you have a set of different options select editable interactive grid that's it so this particular final step will perform a creation of a page so here if you observe right, in the interaction in the interactive grid so these are the steps we involved so in the interactive grid we just need to mention what is the page name and uh, in the second screen you can just ignore go with the default and in the final in the final screen of create integra interactive grid you just need to mention on which table you want to create a page, right? So it's not only just table, you can also mention the SQL query, but in our case, we'll just go with the table because we just want to perform a DML operation. So if it is a SQL query, you can mention which columns you want to mention, okay? Click on create. So this will result in this particular page. Okay, we don't want to customize anything here. We're just going with the default, but later on we'll understand like uh, what all properties we can change it, like how we can customize and modify according to the requirements. So just click on run. This will result in this particular one. Okay, so now we'll let's go back to our uh, Apex screen and perform the same operation. Okay, so I'll go to my Apex screen now. Click on sign in. So if expecting that you should have a Apex instance already if you don't have it perform a sign up okay or simply click on request a workspace so it should allow you to provide the apex workspace within a few seconds or minutes i can say i'll just click on sign in yep so by default this login screen will go what we have to do is go to sql workshop right and click on sql commands so in my case i already have a table Right, so I'll just say if you observe select star xx emp. So this is my table name which is already available. So I don't want to recreate again. So I'll try to use this particular table to perform to perform the creation of the application as well as the page. I'll go to app builder now, click on create. Okay, so in this you have a different set of options. I'll go with new application. I'll mention xx emp. DML application. I'll go with the default settings. I don't want to change anything. Click on create application. It just takes a couple of seconds to finish. Got finished now. So now I'm already in the application here. If you observe always make sure that careful, like if you're working on a multiple application, there's a chance that you may forget what is your application also, right? So always remember this is your application name. Or let's say mistakenly you are in a different application. You want to create page in another application. Best thing is go to app builder. And now it shows a list of applications which are available here, right? So you can just either way, you can just select this format or this format, icon format or tabular format. So in our case, these are our application. I'll just click on this application here. Now we can simply cre click on create page. Okay, now, yeah, so mention the page. So the type of page we want to select is page type as form. 
once you select the page type as form it provides different set of form types which are available we'll go with editable interactive grid okay so i'll just mention xx emp dml page go with the default settings no changes click on next go with the default next now in the final step mention the table name okay it is still loading now so it depends upon the network or oracle instance couple of reasons let's wait for a few seconds yep now i'll go with the default i don't want to mention any other complexity stuff here now just mention the table name x6 emp click on create so this step will generate the page now right now we are in the now we are in the page designer right this is a page designer so here if you observe carefully so from here the content body the actual information of our region is getting started right before changing anything simply run the page now first of all understand how it looks like and then later on we'll discuss few more information stuff so here when you're trying to run the page for the first time it will meant it will ask you to the login password and this is our application name okay let's click on sign in now it should display the data right perfect so we are able to see all the records around 199 109 records we have in this particular table okay now go back to the page designer here if you observe let's say this is our title right i'll just say emp dml page okay just change this title and click on run right so this got changed here okay and this is our application name and this was a page name which we mentioned while running and this is our table region data name which we mentioned right the content body table region name and here if you observe let us say let's start with performing dml operation now just click on add row it will insert a row i'll just say 501 sri ram test okay let's click on save yep done right it got saved now let's say you want to perform we have performed creation and similarly you can perform edit also let's click on edit right now yeah let's say my conversion is two percentage okay i'll just click on save it got saved right and you can you can mention like there are different set of options you have let's say click on download it will jump it will download an html or csv kind of format okay this is a html format so the html got downloaded and now similarly you can perform you know like a edit we have done and you can also perform the delete right and also let me show you one more thing let's say i want to search it right let us say i want to search based on email or maybe first name right let's say okay i'll just say something wrong what was the name let's try again let's see okay it's displaying properly only but yeah this could be a couple of issues now one more important thing i want to show you let us say you have an option here if you observe right just click on this particular one using left click and here if you see you just click on single row view what will happen is instead of displaying all 108 records at a time it will display one by one record it doesn't need to do any technical changes here it doesn't need to do any format changes also it just it's a configurational stuff user can just select the appropriate one whatever you want right you can just simply do the display in a single row view okay or just click on report view it'll go back to your normal view okay now here if you observe right let us say assume that like you have these number of columns assume that you know like you don't want to consider you don't want to show commission right what you can do is simply just delete this one right now let us say where is my commission commission yeah let us say i just want to delete the commission or other way other way what you can do is you have an option called visibility right just for visibility where is that validation the lot number of properties you can just search for right not showing settings heading right layout
you have to just go through this like you will understand you know clearly or let us i just want i don't want to show commission right what i can do is simply click on delete that's it so this particular it's a logical deletion it's not permanent deletion right so you, you, here what you can do is let us say if you think that whether our particular column is deleted from the table or just from the page you can observe carefully from here right go to sql workshop sql commands just select select start from xx emp and observe the commission percentage is there or not right commission percentage column is there so it's just kind of a logical deletion you just excluded that particular column from your layout or let's say if you want to add up the column right just simply mention right click here and click on create column mention the appropriate source so that you can so you can you know like you can just display that information so in this particular sample what are you just trying to do what we just thought of doing is we just perform a dml operation on a single table okay you have a edit you have a add row you have a save you have a delete option also okay and you can perform you can explore some more some more operations in this it provides large number of information but you're not getting into deeper as of now it's just an initial set of sessions okay so just try to explore the perform try to explore you know like performing of dml operations in this particular one thank you